also am looking at a couple earnings plays this week. Let's go. This is going to be a big week. So I'm looking at the S&P 500. This is the weekly uptrend right now. So we're still sitting above it. We kind of closed, or we didn't close above below it, but we had a uh, nice little test around this 394 level, 393.76. Bounced and kind of closed above it. So we're sitting right at this 396.30-ish range. So um, I'm looking for a nice little drop down below this line to see any bearish news. We could retest this and then bounce again. So just waiting for that confirm on the downside so this is 396.38 right now we're at 397 after hours right now or i guess futures market but uh, i'm paying attention to this breakdown or if we start to bounce this could be a good opportunity for the 418 level i think that the s p 500 is going to start showing us some some volatility here pretty soon but in terms of technology with the inflation so hot last week we actually got a breakdown on on the technology sector so qqq looked pretty bad um same with the Oh, the daily chart as well, 290. This is starting to expand a little bit. There's a ton of people coming in here, a ton of volume. So this could either mean that we have a lot of sellers right here at this 290 mark, or a lot of buyers are trying to buy this 290 mark and push it up. So I'm looking over here uh, around this 290 area for a bounce, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too convinced on the downside. So I don't really have a direction right now on the Spire QQQ. I would say this 290 is a big form of support line, and then below that, I would probably, I could see this even coming down to 285-ish, so 285, 280, I, I can see a lot of different, little different resistance and support lines here. It really depends on the volume and which way that we're headed. Uh, SPY, similar thing here. We kind of have a hammer candle. It's trying to reverse a little bit. Tons of, tons of buyers coming in here, or tons of volume, so I'm not really sure which way it wants to go, but there is a double bottom here right at this level at 393, as you can see. So it's extend over here, extend to the right. So you can see a nice little double bottom. Watch out for a nice little, almost kind of like a inverse cup and handle here. So if it kind of bumps up a little bit to retest that 400, watch this breakdown of this uptrend line. And then I think that from there, you know, we obviously have this 390 support line, but even below that, I think that a pretty significant support level will be around this 386-ish with this bottom, this bottom, this top, this top, this body and then this top right here is a little bit of a gap fill as well. So um, below this 390, 393 mark, if we start to break down below 393, I think we see 390 and then that 386 level, maybe 387. I'm also watching oil as well, this XOP, um, the ETF here. So uh, I've been looking at this little wedge pattern. If I look at the weekly right here, kind of starting a little bit of an uptrend here and a little bit of a downtrend. It kind of looks like it's starting to reverse a little bit. Some some higher lows over here. So if we can continue to bounce, this could be around that 139 range. So nothing too crazy, but just wanted to point out a cheaper option for a lot of a lot of traders out there. So there's still some room up here to retest this around this 138-ish. Yeah, so around 138. Not too much of a move, but $4 in oil, pretty great. Um, I will do a little bonus Tesla because Tesla obviously is always a nice payer. It's kind of just sitting right at this uptrend. We're retesting it right now. I could see this coming down pretty nicely, down to back down to 172-ish, um, but I would love to see that 180 before anything else. So 186 is one of my key target points, and then below 186, I see a 180 before a bounce. So I like those a lot on Tesla. I also am looking at a couple earnings plays this week. I was looking at AI because, I mean, well, this little descending triangle that's happening up here looks pretty crazy to me. It could be a nice little falling wedge as well. So the support line here would be around this 20, 25 range. But if we break above this $23 level, 23, 25, we could start to see some upside momentum. So they have earnings this week. Uh, there's also another pretty big earnings this week that I'm paying attention to, which would be snow. Snow is at this bottom of this Bollinger Band. And the premiums are very inflated, so I might end up selling some contracts, but there is some downside potential here. So I might sell some puts here because I think it's a really good opportunity to sell. Uh, and then I would just exercise my shares before the earnings. So I probably wouldn't sing signal these or swing these through earnings with the shares potential because I don't want to be exercised. But uh, the premiums could get shredded, so maybe it doesn't move too, too much here. It looks like the implied volatility percentage is 119. So if I sold some puts here... Uh, and I need it to get below. I needed it to get above. There is some, there is some downside, though. That's the only issue. Uh, if there's down, some issue. I don't know if I would sell puts uh, while there's so much room down. 
but potentially. I'll see how it works out here. Uh, it's always good to sell premiums and start to collect when it's going sideways, especially with this high implied volatility percentage. I could collect this 700 bucks or $600 per 100 shares. So I might look to sell some puts on that or might even play some puts on the downside, but by buying them, I don't see as much opportunity as I do to sell them because you could just collect this as it shreds towards uh, zero because these are same weeks. Yeah, I think I might sell some of these puts on snow if I see any sort of bullish movement. Sometimes there's some bounces before earnings to catch a run up, but if it just chops sideways, then you're going to make money regardless because you're selling them instead of buying it. So I'm looking at snow. I really love those premiums. I think they look great. I think Tesla also looks great here. Um, whether you want to buy, sell, whatever type of option you want. I'm going to start doing a ton of option selling and promoting a lot of that because, well, when you play with the house, you can just collect income and who wouldn't just want to collect a steady stream of income every single week. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at snow. I'm looking at AI because I think AI might be a little bit overhyped. So I think it has some downside room, but if it breaks that wedge, maybe it does have some room upwards. And then SPY level sitting right here around that 395 is what I'm looking for to break down. Below 393, I think we see 385. And then QQQ, I think is pretty much, I think it's really weak. And I think with inflation data and everything else, I think that this is going to see some downside pressure as well. So I think that the market, unless it really does bounce right away this week at that trend line where the SPY is, I think that we have some downside to go. So expect some weakness. Um, in my opinion, I think that there's going to be a lot more weakness coming out. And then let's take a look at Amazon real quick, just because this helps the market. If you look at the weekly chart here, nice little downtrend, tried to break it a couple more times, and it has a ton of room down here to 81. So I would watch some Amazon puts. I would watch some SPY puts, some QQQ puts. I'm more bearish this week more than anything, um, but you can also sell some options to collect some premium. So hopefully those, those levels help you out a little bit. There's not too many great setups right now, but... There are a lot of companies that have some weak levels, and I think that there's still a ton of room to break down. So watch for some breakdown here on NVIDIA. It either goes to 240 or it starts to break down very heavily down to 220. So tons of opportunities in NVIDIA as well. There's a lot of good setups out there, but you just kind of have to search for them. I just think that as of right now, the market's in a weird phase, and a lot of people don't know which way it's going to go. But watch out for some of these earnings plays, and SPY and QQQ could start to get very weak here very soon. So... Hope that helps you guys out and good luck this week. Let me know if you need anything.